America being the greatest nation, uh, being the where no one is poor, you know? I'm assuming he's gonna go along the lines of how could America be the greatest nation if we have a plethora of homeless people and we have crime? How, how is the best way to solve homelessness and crime in America? Because it has, when I, I, I'm come from Tijuana and when I got here, I always hear about America being the greatest nation, uh, being the, where no one is poor, you know? He said he heard that America is the greatest nation where no one is poor. And I'm assuming he's going to go along the lines of how could America be the greatest nation if we have a plethora of homeless people and we have crime? And I'm going to answer that question. Before I, before I answer this, I will say, young, this is no disrespect to him at all, but... You obviously have this type of delusional thought about America. Of course, America is a great place. But if you honestly believe, and this is no disrespect to him, but if you honestly believe that America would have a 0% homelessness, a 0% crime, a 0% anything wrong, then I, I'm worried about you. Because that just shows a lack of critical thinking skills. There's no possible way you could have thought that. Of course, the, the ratings are lower than other places, but if America had a 0%, this would be heaven. It would be heaven. But that's not realistic for a human civilization. But let's continue. Maybe I'm wrong. And then when I got here, I remember the first time I went to San Diego downtown. It was horrible. And then I went to LA. I can horrible. just see the YouTube video. Mexican immigrant says America is horrible. You know, it's just like, it's to see it. No, I'm giving you a hard time. It's very simple. Um, we know how to solve crime. You lock up criminals and you don't relax penalties. We know how to solve homelessness. I have a heart for the homeless. Many of them have mental issues that they're dealing with. A vast majority have substance abuse issues. Super simple. You have to have a prime directive. The streets are not your home. Period. We're going to get you help. We're going to bring you to a shelter. We're going to help you recover. We're going to get you treatment. We're going to make sure you get attention. You're going to get fed. You're going to get clothed. You don't do it in the open air. It's not good for you. It's not good for society. It's not good for our hospital system. It's not good for anybody. For example, if you go to a local hospital between 1 and 5 a.m., I guarantee there'll be two to three homeless people every night that run into traffic. They get run over by a bus. They get run over by a car. And it, it is completely unnecessary in the sense that if they're in a shelter, that wouldn't be happening. And these poor people, a lot of them die. They run into traffic. It takes huge resources. You know, you have to all of a sudden, and, you know, redirect a lot of things in the emergency room. Other people, bro, he's he's spinning facts, man. He's spinning facts. Like the homeless issue in our country, of course, it's not the greatest, it's not the best. But don't forget, we are still a trying nation. We are still doing the best we can. Um, this student, he did pose a question, um, and it kind of sucks because he did say he was a Mexican immigrant, um, and it kind of looks like you're comparing America to other places, but. Don't get it twisted. America is still a great place. It kind of sucks that he has this skewed view of our country already. It's saying that some places such as Las Vegas are, are, are horrible. And yeah, of course, a lot of places in America do have a big homeless issue. But that doesn't mean the entirety of the country has a homeless issue or has a, has a problem with crime. That doesn't mean the entire country has that. But, yeah, Charlie Kirk is making sense. We could put in more resources or we could put in some resources for homeless people. People who need critical care might get triaged and they might not get the same attention that's necessary. That's just one example of dozens. And um, so we, we need to do what we once did in this country, which is we love you. We're not going to allow you on the streets. We're going to nicely and kindly pick you up and we're going to bring you to a homeless shelter. And if you come back again, we're going to bring you back to the homeless shelter. And I, for one, do not want to raise my child in a country where I have to tell her what to do when she's playing in a playground if she encounters a hypodermic needle. That is literally there are guidelines in Seattle and Portland public schools of what kids, what to do if you're a seven or eight year old, if you come across a hypodermic needle. And that, that is the excesses of allowing a fringe population to basically manipulate the standard of living of the rest of us. So have compassion for the homeless. The streets are not your home. Thank you so much. Yeah, I yeah Charlie Kirk was putting facts with this one, man. We really have to show more compassion. Well, I think most people do, but... This is an interesting topic because this also plays into who's in power at a certain time because don't get it twisted. When it comes to homelessness or when it comes to major issues in our country, that is largely related to the programs, yeah, the programs that 
said office thinks are important. For example, if you see an increase of homelessness or you see an increase of crime, that shows that the 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 Congress or the president who are in power right now may not be focusing their attention on the, that issue. Not saying they're bad people, but they may be focusing on something else. Draw your own conclusion. And that's what it is. What Charlie Kirk is saying is that we need to focus more attention on homelessness. We need to focus more attention on getting people off the streets. And I 100% agree. I think human rights or human, yeah, human livelihood is one of the most important things we should be protecting. And we should always have people in office or always have people who care about human rights and human livelihood, especially of our citizens. But yeah, if you have any suggestions, comment down below. It's LFR Jojo and um, I'll see you guys next time.